The mitral valve is, is one of four valves in our heart. I think if everybody kind of remembers back to, to high school, there are four valves in the heart. And the mitral valve is, you know, may actually be the most complex of the four valves. Uh, its main job is to separate our lungs from the heart muscle itself. Uh, and so when there are problems with the mitral valve, most of the time that results in symptoms that, that can sometimes be confused with lung symptoms. So for example, shortness of breath, uh, heaviness in the chest, uh, uh, think symptoms of that nature. Mitral valve disease is uh, uh, often diagnosed by just a, a, an astute clinician. Um, sometimes people have mitral valve disease, but not many, not, not many symptoms related to it. Uh, so, for example, uh, your family physician can often detect mitral valve disease by simply listening to your chest with a stethoscope uh, and, and, and hearing an abnormal sound or a murmur. Uh, not all murmurs are related to mitral valve disease, but that can be the first tip-off that there's a problem with one of your heart valves. Based on what your, uh, what your primary physician uh, might, uh, might detect from just a physical exam and from, from listening to you and listening to your symptoms, they may even uh, obtain an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound. Uh, ultrasound is great, of course, because there's no radiation, but it gives very good pictures of the heart. And, uh, and an echocardiogram can typically diagnose mitral valve disease as well as other valve disease in the heart. Uh, depending on, on what is seen on the echocardiogram or ultrasound of the heart, uh, uh, more sophisticated ultrasounds uh, or echocardiograms such as a transesophageal echo uh, can be obtained, or even a cardiac MRI can be obtained to help clarify uh, the true extent of mitral valve disease.